Welcome. In this video, we're going to take a look at how to create shapes like this, like this U and this um, hump shape. Now, you're going to use the pen tool, and uh, I want to make sure my uh, fly out menu is torn off and up here. Now, basically, to make a U that, you know, this U is you know, pretty even, to do that, you're going to hold down some keys as we do it. So now I'm going to make sure that none of my other uh, lines here, curves or paths, are uh, affected. So I pressed P to make sure of that. And now I'm going to tap and I'm going to hold my button down. Tap and hold my button down. Hold down Shift and move downward to drag out that path's origination point. Now, because I have Smart Guides on, you can see that I'm level with it. And what I'm going to do is now click and hold and hold down shift and move upward. Now my goal is to try and line up those two handles at the bottom to where we make our nice U. Your U might not be this thick. Uh, I wanted you to notice my, my line was at five points for my stroke. So Now the other thing is, what if I wanted to match the curve of an edge? So let's say this is a curve that I want to be close to the same position. Okay. What I can do is, uh, once again, I'm going to press P to make sure I'm off. Then I'm going to uh, tap and I'm going to hold up a little bit. Or actually, hold down and, and move down. So it makes uh, a curve to start off with. And now when I go to press my other point here, I'm going to curve out. And you'll see, okay, that looks normal. But obviously, it's not lining up the same way as this other curve. Well, this is where I don't want you to let go. I want you to click and hold, and it basically pulls out the curve. But then if you hold down space, you can then move that curve around. Do you see? So what I'm doing is, while I'm still working on the handle, I am moving the point that this handle is uh, attached to. So I can then lift it up and make it curve according to that same position. So that's how you could make a, a curve match a spot. And if you um, keep drawing, you see how that, how that works, it's going to end up making another point. So what you want to do is make sure that, I'm just going to back up a couple steps here, and I'm going to tap that again and, and pull it out. You got to do it while you're holding down. Don't let go of the point. Um, and you can hold down space though. So it's a way to quickly move a point and get it to the right spot. So let's let's say something like that. And then you can also let go of the space bar and then do some more curving. And you see how I'm actually mimicking this original stroke pretty good. Um, and until you let go of the mouse button, you can move both the handles when you're not holding space, and when you hold down space, it'll move that point, that anchor. All right. So what I want you to do is make a series of, of curves, try making them different directions, like what if the U uh, goes sideways, and just fill this page up with different U's.